Roger, I just realized some great irony here, reading Donna Brazil's story in Politico. The headline, as Donna Brazil sells out the DNC and Hillary Clinton as the sacrificial lamb for what appears to be some serious money laundering and some shady campaign financing techniques, the headline is, Inside Hillary Clinton's Secret Takeover of the DNC. I can't believe I didn't realize this when I first read this headline. Secret? Secret? This was not a secret to anyone. The entire dump of WikiLeaks emails showed how Hillary Clinton took over the DNC. Infowars has been covering Hillary Clinton rigging the DNC primaries since they began. This is how they trick the average audience, Roger. Inside Hillary Clinton's secret takeover. It was a secret even though Infowars told you, even though WikiLeaks dropped the emails, even though Project Veritas <coughs> even exposed the DNC. But it's secret because it wasn't reported on until now, according to Politico. You know, if you look at it, uh, Deborah Wasserman Schultz, the former chairwoman of the Democratic... The disgraced chairwoman. Right, who was forced to step down after WikiLeaks published documents that indicated that they had to change the rules, bend the rules to cheat Bernie Sanders out of the nomination. By the way, uh, do you know how the California Democratic primary came out in 2016? No, you don't. You know why? Because they, they, they haven't it. finished. Yeah. No, they haven't they, finished counting. They still haven't found finished counting. You know why? <laughs> That's because Bernie Sanders won in a we, landslide. And we have to we have to repress that. Look, I uh, I know Donna Brazil. I kind of like Donna Brazil. Uh, in, in all honesty, on a personal level, our politics are really quite different. I was introduced to her by the Reverend Al Sharpton, who I also know, uh, and who I also, on a personal level, like. Even though our politics are completely opposite. Uh, I'm going to buy her book. I think it's going to be very interesting. She clearly is coming out from under the yoke of the Clintons now, and I think there's going to be a lot of truth-telling there about how the DNC was run. But in the case of Wasserman Schultz, uh, a, a guy jumped in the primary against her two years ago, uh, uh, whose uh, name escapes me at the moment, but uh, he got 40-plus percent of the vote just based on her theft of the uh, of the uh, nomination from Bernie Sanders, he was a Sanders supporter, uh, and he's running again. And now he has not only that issue, but he also has her involvement with the Awan brothers uh, and the fact that she allowed these two Pakistani hackers, in essence, uh, access to the DNC computers. Now, what's important to understand here... While they were even in Pakistan. And what's important here to understand is that after she was formally informed by the Capitol Hill police that the Awan brothers were under investigation for stealing data and money, she changed their status within the House computer system from consultant to employee so that their access to the U.S. House of Representatives computer would be uninterrupted. That makes her an accessory to their thievery of both data and money. So lock her up, Deborah Wasserman Schultz. They're coming for you next. We literally have, literally books. I mean, books. It's like we have like an encyclopedia of all of the Clinton corruption, ranging from Bill Clinton's time in Arkansas to Bill Clinton's time as president. Uh, you know, selling nuclear secrets to the Chinese, selling us out to Russia with Hillary Clinton and the Uranium One deal. We literally have an encyclopedia. Stacks of everything. The WikiLeaks, well, the Project you, Veritas, it, all just demonizing and damning Hillary Clinton. When are, when are people going to wake up? Is the public... T so that's what I'm saying. Will Donna Brazil's book another add it to the stack of the encyclopedia showing the Clinton, the Clinton family uh, crime syndicate? And by the way, we're going to have a Hillary Clinton in the next segment where she's demonizing Donald Trump for saying radical Islamic terror. We'll have that clip in the next segment. But will the public ever wake up to how corrupt Hillary really is, or are they too brainwashed? If you want to know, get The Clinton's War on Women by Roger Stone. There's the definitive story on their corruption. Read it. Give it to a liberal friend. Give it to a brainwashed friend. And then either see how brainwashed they are or get them to wake up. Attention, devil worshippers. Attention, methods. 
Attention Antifa scum. We're fully aware of the globalist funding or operation to push for a violent revolution in America. That's why InfoWars will be covering your so-called operations this Saturday live from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. with exclusive streams at NewsWars.com, InfoWars.com, and PrisonPlanet.com. We'll have our intrepid team of reporters, analysts, and researchers here at the ATX Command Center in Austin. But we'll also have reporters on the ground in major cities. We will be there to chronicle these degenerate abominations as they attempt to launch their filthy Bolshevik Revolution Part 2, which will be a dead birth on arrival. So whatever you do, my fellow modern Paul Revere's of every race, color, and creed, spread the word to InfoWars.com, NewsWars.com, and our live coverage coming up this Saturday.